everyone. Welcome to Doll Fun Kids channel. Today, Lila, our little ballerina, is going to do multiplication table five. Let's start. The first problem is five times one. What is five times one? Five times one, hmm. Five times one should equal five. Let's see on the back. So Lila, the little ballerina's answer is five. And the answer on the back is five. So the answer is five. Five times one equals five. Next problem. Five times two. Five times two equals, hmm, I think it's 11. Let's check on the back. So Lila's answer is 11. On the back, it says 10. So let's cross out the 11 like this and then put 10. So five times two actually equals 10. Next problem. Five times three equals, hmm, this is hard, but I think I know. It might be 15. Lila's answer is 15. And on the back, it says 15. So, five times three equals 15. Yes, I got it right. So let's do the next problem now. The next problem is five times four. What is five times four? Oh, this is hard. What is it? Five times four, I think it equals yes. Okay, so Lila's answer is 21. And on the back, it says 20. So it looks like Lila is wrong. Let's, let, let's X out 21 and put 20. So five times four equals 20. On to the next problem. The next problem is five times five. What is five times five, Lila? Oh, five times five. This is a hard problem. What do you guys think it is? Uh, well, you can answer before me. I think it is 25. Was your answer 25 too, like mine? And my answer is 25 which is Lila's, and the answer on the back is 25. Whoever said 25 is right. Next problem is five times six. What is five times six? Do you guys know? Cause I don't. Five times six equals, I think it equals 30. Was your guy's answer 30? Well, it might be right or it might be wrong. So Lila's answer was 30. And on the back, it says 30. So she is correct. And five times six equals 30. Yes, I got it right. You guys got it right if you answered 30. Next problem. Five times seven. Oops, I was trying to see something. Five times seven. What is it, Lila? Hmm, this is a hard one. Do you guys think it's hard? Because I certainly do. Hmm, it might just be 37. Is your guys' answer 37? It might be right or it might be wrong. Because I answered 37. Okay, so Lila's answer is 37. And on the back, it says 35. So if you guys answered 
37 like Lila. You got it wrong. It's 35. Okay, so let's cross this out and put 35. Well, that was hard. Next problem. The next problem is five times eight. You can answer before us. Hmm, what is it? And I don't remember. Uh, I think I know. Let's do it. 40. If your guys' answer was 40, that's my answer too. Let's see if it's right or if it's wrong. So Lila's answer is 40. And the answer on the back is 40. So she got it right. So five times eight equals 40. Next problem. The next problem is five times nine. Oh no, I don't know what five times nine is. I think I know. It might just be 40, it's not only 40, but it is, maybe it's 44. Is your guys' answer 44? Cause I don't know if it's right or wrong. The, an the correct answer is 45, and Lila answered 44. So Lila is wrong, let's X it out. X. Correct answer is 45. So five times nine equals 45. Last problem, which is five times 10. What do you guys think it is? Is five times 10 45? What is it? Do you guys know? Hmm, this is a hard problem to me. Do you think it's easy or do you think it's hard? Because I think it's kind of easy and kind of hard. Okay, so we're going to put, I think I'm going to put 50. Let's see if it's right or if it's wrong. Okay, this is Lila's answer. Let's turn on the back. It says 50, and this is what it is. Okay, guys, I hope you liked watching this video. Bye. See you next time.